In anticipation of 12 tanker trucks a day, we're actually installing a brand new driveway approach where the vehicles will be able to come down and stage before they load into our receiving skid, which is located over here. So if you keep walking a little bit this way, <clears throat> you can see the fact that we have two receiving areas, two inlets where we can back up two tanker trucks at a time. Each tanker truck is about 5,000 gallons. Each tanker truck takes about 30 minutes to unload. This is our receiving area right here. You can see the large hose where one truck can back up to. We have another pump right next door where another truck can back up to it. The material moves from the tanker truck through pumps that we have right there. And then those pumps move it to these really large containers, two containment units here, and then our very large unit here, which is about 50,000 gallons worth of food waste. So that food waste comes in, and then from these containers, we move the food waste into our digesters. Once the food material is stored in these containers, it then moves to these three digesters that were rehabilitated by Energia as part of the project. The material moves from the containers over a 24-hour period at a very consistent rate to help the digestion process. Once the digestion process is moving, the gas forms at the top of these digesters. The gas then moves from the digesters through these pipes and over to the Energia facility where it gets cleaned up and utilized by Southwest Gas. So once the methane gas leaves VBWRA's digesters, it makes its way over here to the Energia facility. And at this facility, they take the methane gas and run it through filtering systems in order to meet the necessary requirements imposed upon them by Southwest Gas for how clean the gas has to be to be put into their system.